skinny but um kind of he's not floofy like the wing skater but he's got a thick kind of puffy coat so it disguises some of his skinniness um he first showed up at the feeding station on the fifth um and he was there also the sixth um very hungry got lots of good uh, he's getting, he's having a feast upstairs right now. Um, and uh, he has a tattoo, so he at one point was uh, someone's pet. Um, I think, I suspect he's a little bit older, an older gentleman. But very cute. I posted a picture on the um, Tiny Kitten page. Uh, you can see him. Um, it's very good news that he has a tattoo because Laps can trace it and see if he um, is lost or if um, potentially someone dumped him or you know something else happened. Um, so hopefully we'll find out more and. Um, uh, but in this situation, since he's friendly and, um, he would definitely be happy, uh, being a companion in someone's home, um, he will, we will definitely not return him to that area, but, uh, we'll find him a good home. So, um, so this is very good news. Um, we've, we've seen four different cats at the feeding station, um, the uh, jungle mom that is very pregnant, um, who is also very smart about traps. Um, and then we have a uh, one that looks just like Jaguar, um, also very uh, aware of traps. And then um, we got a new one a couple of days ago that is kind of lengthy shaped, but not as floofy. Um, so, and, the, and, then, and then we saw um, Tigger, is, is what, was what uh, they named him. Um, we saw Tigger um, also. Um, and since the only pictures we have of these cats are in night vision, uh, so you can't see color or anything. Um, you can sort of see pattern and you got it. Good job, mom. Good job. Oh my goodness. We're never gonna have some babies. Huh? What's that on your butt? It better not be a tapeworm segment. What's it in there, huh? Oh, you know, you guys, that is Nothing for you to see. Come here, Mom. Come here. There's something there for you to see. Come here. Come on. Hi. Hi. I don't think that is. Um. Come on. I know. I would like you to get in your nest and have your babies now. Do you think you could do that? So he's spending the night here. Um. I'm being very careful um, to wear gloves and uh, I have completely different scrubs on and have disinfected myself thoroughly. I do not want to risk anything being transferred to these guys or this one cat. Um, 
So I'm also limiting my contact with him just because I don't, um, I just can't risk, I can't risk anything being transferred. And we know that there are all sorts of nasty things in that area. So, um, there's a close up. So, uh, very exciting, um, and he will be going to laps in the morning, um, if he was one of the feral cats, he would probably be going to Mountain View as soon as they could take him, um, but um, he has, he has all, of, he has, he has lot, much potential to be a, a beloved, um, family member, so very exciting. Um, so we've got three more to still to catch, so um, I have to thank everyone on the team, um, Kim, Leo, and Bobby's mom, she's probably not up, well maybe she's up, she has been um, keeping the food, the feeding station going um, when I have been, I've been too busy, she's been like every day out there um, keeping the food, the food out. Um, so there would not be a Tigger without Kim. Um, Julia and Lynn are the ones that actually caught her. And I know Linda was there uh, also, and Linda and Robin I think are going in the morning to um, do the early morning checks. So these guys are doing stakeouts um, from like 8.30 until 2 in the morning. Um, and then um, Linda and Robin are gonna go between 5.30 and 6 um, to check because we don't wanna leave, if we do happen to catch one, we don't wanna leave them in the trap for too long. Um, and we've been monitoring the timing of when they come to the feeding station and it's always you know, between nine o'clock and like four in the morning. So, um, we've been at it for a while. We are trying to get it done, um, trying to stop the cycle of reproduction and the cycle of disease in that area. Um, it's not a great area for cats. So if there's any possibility of anyone, um, of anyone being adopted out once we catch them, that's what we're gonna do. But if they're truly feral and they would not be happy uh, as, a, as a human companion, then they will be returned to the area after they're vaccinated and fixed and tested. Um, so yeah, lots, so lots of people have, um, have helped make this possible and we've been going at, we've been doing this for weeks now um trying to catch them but uh liz and megan praline's parents have been helping out they've been doing shifts um and checking the traps nadine uh chandra um florence um and a couple of other people too it's been uh been awesome so you guys rule thank you <laughs> back in the nest I don't have tiny robot set up yet over here so um So I can't, I have to manually tiny robot. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is um, put the camera closer to the nest. Poor itchy mama, I'm so itchy. And um, so if she's out and about, uh, we won't see her, but I, I'm fairly confident that she's going to um, use the nest when it's time. So I think that I think that if I put this closer, 
if, if she's not in a nest, you can assume that she's, you know, giggling about how clever she is, tricking us all, and mostly me, and just thinking she's giving birth all the, every five minutes. Um, and so I'll be monitoring from my bed. Um, and if it looks like something is going to be happening, then I will come in and assist. But um, poor thing is itchy. Just, I wish I could help the itching. Um, but she should she should be less itchy, hopefully in a day or two. Um, hi, mom. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pet you. I'm gonna pet you now. How are you doing? Yeah, I hope you're less itchy soon. It's no fun. She's got a bite right there. I know, you're so sweet. No, oh, look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. Don't you just want those babies out of there? Don't you just want those babies out? I know. They're gonna have to come out sometime. You're just too busy itching to worry about having babies. Hmm, I'm so sorry you're so itchy. Terrible. I've been leaving her alone because I think she um, focuses more on having babies when I'm not here. That's what I was, I was thinking she would spend more time in the nest and relax more. Um, Cause she should be resting and eating and you know, all that stuff. Oh, so nice. She's that, she definitely has a change in her um, milk bar area. Um, I should I take her temperature? I don't know. Hi, you're so sweet. I don't wanna I don't wanna force another indignity on her. <laughs> She's already got so many. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 what a sweet kitty you are. You're so sweet. So sweet and so darling. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that belly. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Delightful creature. Look at that delightful belly. Oh my goodness, it's so big. It's so big. You see some babies moving in there? Oh, we've got some good belly vision right now. Babies. some belly vision.
You guys can see the baby. Oh, <laughs> wow. That had some range on it, didn't it? Right into my face. That's the first sneeze I've heard her do. Getting kicked from the inside, itchy on the outside. It's no fun. No fun, is it? Oh my goodness, no fun. Babies. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. They're just everywhere. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything so adorable? Yep, babies are moving. It's going to happen at some point soon. <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired after all these nights of being tricked and staying up all night. You guys are getting some good belly vision. Look at that, some serious belly surfing happening. All right, I'm going to try to get a little bit of sleep. So that I don't fall asleep while she's having babies. But I'm only now a few steps away and I will be checking frequently. Everybody. Oops. <laughs> Look at that ridiculous, ridiculous cat. She won't get up.